the only brush my daughter will let me use on her hair. I don't want to block her. Lauren! I like the entertainment. Your prescription medication. What about it? My prescription medication is downstairs. We are currently upstairs. So how could I possibly be um, sniffing my... <laughs> what am I going to sniff? My Lyrica? Like... I'm just great, um, Lauren. Just fucking fan fucking tastic. Um, why is everyone so hostile, right? Um, the funny thing is, is like my prescription medication is it's downstairs. So, um, oh yeah, people always harass me. So, how could I possibly be? Um, just. Asking for a friend. Huh. Interesting. Anywho. Speaking of prescription medication, it's after lunch. I should probably take my lunch dose. Um. Do you want to come count my pills in my fill pack so you can see? Can we know you can't see how long my real hair is? It's easy to bring some upstairs, not rocket science. Um. Does it look like I have... Anywhere to put pills so I can fucking. God, you're stupid. My god. The stupidity of people on this app just blow my mind. Like, blow my mind. The, I don't know. The past drug tests, the past fucking everything. I've proven myself. I don't need to prove. You're not stupid. Yeah, you clearly fucking are. If you think I'm doing drugs when I just passed a drug test again. So, you might not be stupid, but you don't fucking know what you're talking about. Trust me on that one. And you know who's not, not stupid either? Me, which is why I went to go to school, went to school to care for people who have addiction issues. Interesting how that works. A lot, yeah. Interesting. All right. Thank you for making my day so much better. Then why aren't you working? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I have a bunch of broken bones and fucking... Why am I even telling you this? What does it matter? I have two diplomas. Two. Broken bones where? I have my medical perk somewhere. That's my seizure one. Oh, besides Celeste, you clearly don't know me well enough to know that I also just had a seizure on Easter. Where the hell did this little fucking folder go? Fell 30 feet out of a tree, broke and dislocated my elbow, broke my a bone in my wrist, got surgery right here. What surgery? The 
yes, this bone, and compressed, fra compressed fracture in my back from T4 to T8, as well as L1 and L2. Um, and I would show you my medical paperwork, but apparently I don't remember where I put it. it. Must be the drugs that are causing me not to remember where I put things. All those drugs that I've never done, all those drugs that I don't do, and all those drugs that I will never do. But it's okay. Because you do, you boo. It's the mess in there. What? It's the mess in where? In my room? If that's what you're talking about, is it your mess? No. Do you live here? No, definitely not. Um, is it your is it your problem? Nope. Nope, it's not. Do I care what you think? Nope. And I bet your face is filthy. So, so is your fucking your brain. Meaning, like, you treat people how you want to be treated, and I'm going to treat you the exact same way that you are treating me. So, you want nice? You be nice. You want mean? I can show you mean. Why are you judging people your living space? Why are people- yeah, right? Um, if you knew half of what I've ever been through, people would understand. I don't know anymore. Hi. Um. I'm. This is pissing me off because I just had it earlier. That book. A puzzle I made. Isn't it pretty? Once I can get puzzle hanger fucking thing. I'm gonna be finding fucking chunks of hair everywhere for so fucking long. I just really want to know where that medical paper went. Huh. Anyways, um. How did I fall out of a tree? Me and my daughter were playing badminton and the birdie got stuck. Where's that cute neighbor? He's, he's in treatment. Um, the. Birdie got, or the, yeah, the birdie got stuck, um, so she threw the racket, and then the racket got stuck, so I've climbed that tree before, I didn't use my brain, I could have just grabbed a broom or something, but I climbed it, and then the branch broke, and, um, yeah, and daughter's father tried to convince Dakota that, uh, it was only, I didn't fall 30 feet, that I only fell 3 feet, so she would, she believed it, so we took a measuring tape, and she showed me exactly where I was, and I measured, and it was like 29 feet. I can't come see you because I don't have gas. You were high as shit. Stop lying to these people. I'm not high as shit. I do drug tests, and I pass them. And, um, you're a piece of shit. You are a piece of fucking garbage. Like, go find something better to do with your life, please. Because... Do you have spinal surgery? I am, I, okay, so, fuck, I forgot to talk to Dr. Smith about it. Um, I have a appointment with the neuro clinic, the urgent neuro clinic, about my, my seizure. I fucking should have mentioned, but it was my, it was my doctor. I was told it was going to be a different doctor, and it turned out to be my doctor. I don't like him, but. What time is it? I wonder if I can leave a message for him. I would have to go upstairs because... I'll be right back. Sorry.
Maybe I should bring you guys so you guys don't think I'm fucking doing drugs. Oh, but you're, you need to be charging. Broke discs in my back. I can't walk. You're my. <laughs> I, um. <laughs> fucked up seven vertebrae out of 33 in my spine. I had surgery, surgery and was in a cast for over a year. I also went through some serious fucking mental. Um. Trauma. So. The next time that you want to come at me and be a dink, you don't know people's stories. You're lucky, not lucky at all. I was just saying I can't walk. There's days, there's days where I can barely walk too. Um, my makeup looks like trash. Oops. Why can you just feel empathy? I can feel empathy for somebody, but not somebody who's going to make fun of me. Scissors. It's been bugging me for quite some time. I don't know what the hell is going on here. They weren't making fun of you. Oh no, she was making fun of me before. 
and you compared it to yours. I didn't compare it to mine. Um, somebody asked how I fell out of the tree. Um. Oh, wait, am I getting the two people mixed up? I think I'm getting two people mixed up. Janet and, um, Celeste. Um. All I did was, that. yeah, okay, I'm sorry, Janet, you're, so, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, backtrack real quick, you skis. Janet was, no, it wasn't Janet. I'm not attacking you, Janet, I'm sorry. I got yours and Celeste's name mixed up. No, 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 I'm not making fun of you. I'm sorry. Um, yes, I noticed that. I got Celeste. Yes, you are, and you know you got caught. I didn't get caught, because I didn't do anything wrong. Um, see, that's why I thought, I'm really sorry, Janet. I, I think my deeply, deeply, I'm sorry. Um, um, you, you said you had back surgery for your discs. My mom did too. Um, how are you feeling after your back surgery? Your bed writing, bed written, trying, I know the feeling. I'm really sorry, Janet. I wasn't trying to. Oh, you have a private account. I wasn't trying to be mean. I got confused. Better than you can't walk. And you aren't better than you're just lazy. Um. <laughs> sure. That's what I am. I'm lazy now. Interesting. Very interesting. How now I'm lazy? You've been on Janet's case this whole time for absolutely nothing. I got the two people mixed up for fuck's sakes, okay? Um, that's why. You're numb. When did you get your surgery, Janet? You gotta remember, I'm like all over the fucking place trying to clean, trying to do laundry, trying to fucking deal with animals. No, you didn't. You were applying to both of us separately beforehand and now. Okay, Celeste, goodbye. You're done. I'm I'm done with your shit. Um, three years ago? Holy. Um, what? So, okay. Was it, it was a disc in your back, right? And that you can't walk at all? Three years ago was the surgery. That's when I think I had my surgery. Janet, we be bedridden forever. I was in a car accident and flew up. Oh my god, I am so sorry to hear that. Guys, can we fill the comments full of hearts for Janet, please? Uh, just see the time. I think I did everything I was supposed to do today except for fucking clean my room. Was in a concussion for three months. Oh my god. Hearts for Janet. Um. <laughs> You wonder why people come for you. Shut up, Celeste. Go away. Go away. Welcome to the family, Janet. Sorry for earlier. Go get custody of your kid. I don't want full custody of my kid. And I will. When he takes me back to court. I have a daughter. She's nine. She'll be ten in June. Get out of your mother's basement. You're welcome to talk. Yes, um, this is a, supposed to be a safe place to talk. Um, if anybody makes fun of you, like, 
anybody who's talking. If anything like happens like that, then I'll deal with it. Um, it's okay for people to attack me, but it's not okay for people to go after my family. I think everybody should give Janet a follow. I think this app is so mean to me. This app is so mean to me too. Trust me. Like this, for example. People were like, what? Your daughter deserves the world and here you are sitting on live every day. I don't sit on live every day. This is the first time I've been on live in like two weeks. Um, and my daughter's not here. If she was here, um, then I wouldn't be on live. But she's not. So, keep it up. I love it. I love reading Jenna's private. Yeah. Janet does have a private account, but you can still try to follow her. Send her a follow. She said she's here to make friends, so let's make friends. And, uh, Celeste, go do something with your life, please. Go do something with your life. Something better than coming on my life and making fun of me. I mean, there's got to be better things to do than that on a Friday. Take your own advice. I have been doing lots. I'm taking a break because I've been on the go and I'm not supposed to be. I'm supposed to be in bed. Thank you. Just keep doing your thing and live your life, Heather. I will. I can mod if you need. I don't usually block people, but Celeste is coming up to that point where I brush your teeth and drink some water, dry mouth queen. I don't have dry mouth at all. And my teeth are fake. Your page on red on red is wild. Cool. I'm shaking and almost blocked boots. You're annoying. Anyway. Um I have no interest with Reddit at all. What mother doesn't want full custody of the kid? A mother who believes that her child has two parents who love her and two parents who can raise her. 50-50 is the appropriate thing for me and my daughter's father and my daughter. Um, it's not that I don't want full custody of my kid. I was manipulated. Um, no, I do not ride the same train as Sylvia. I, I went through a very traumatic experience. Do you, if, do you guys want to know the whole fucking thing? Since apparently... What? Like... I'll tell you fucking start to end. Sylvia's nasty. Sylvia is Sylvia. And, um... I'm not gonna say anything bad about her. I don't have anything to say that's bad about her. She's always nice to me. Okay, so Gracie, we've heard it multiple times. Jamie, yes, please. Um, if you heard it multiple times, then you would understand and you wouldn't be attacking me. Nobody wants to hear your old sob stories. Aw. Aw. Darn it. My heart is so broken. <laughs> Not. Anywho. Um... I'm going to have the smoke and then fix my hair. There are people who haven't heard it. And then probably let another. Probably not. I haven't been smoking a whole lot today. I've been busy. And if I did light another, what's it to you? What does it matter to you if I did? It's just a fucking cigarette. Boo boo! Tell us somewhere new or somewhere new here. I went through a very traumatic experience. Um, and I tried to be a mother after that. 
very traumatic experience. Um, and it wasn't fair for her because I couldn't stop crying. And I was going to myself. And so I asked the daughter's father's parents to take my daughter. And um, they did. And then I, I went and did my thing. I tried to take my... Mm, I don't want to get banned again. Um, and... Um, I finally got help. I went to the hospital. Peter Lougheed five times. Um, the fifth time they finally admitted me. Because I told them if they don't admit, admit me, then I'm not going to be alive. And so they admitted me. And, um, I was there for a month. I begged to get out. Um, the deal for me getting out was that I had to <clears throat> go to outpatient care. Um, actually, I like the Peter Lougheed compared to Rocky View. Um, outpatient care. And... It was very interesting because it was New Year's Eve. Very interesting. And because of my story, um, the nurses let me watch everything that was going on, even though I wasn't supposed to be. Um, but they also watched me take all my sleeping pills and just stand there. I stayed I stayed awake. Um, but anyways, uh, I begged to get out of the hospital after being there for a month. And the rule, the rule for me getting out was I needed to... To do outpatient care, I promised I would. I never went because it's no different than just being in the hospital. You wake up, you go to the hospital, you sit there all day, you fucking do nothing, fill your thumbs, look up the window, do word searches. That's what I did. And so, anyways, a couple weeks later, I was back in the hospital. Fast forward, um, I end up in a re relationship that was abusive. Uh, my my sister came and picked me up at three a.m. Uh, with her husband, and they drove me to my dad's, and I lived on my dad's living room floor. Um, didn't show up for outpatient rehab. It's not rehab. It was, had nothing to do with rehab. I was in the hospital because I was going to unalive myself. Um, I didn't show for outpatient care because I didn't want to be at the hospital. Um, but anyways, so, um, Anyways, so I sit there, and they didn't want to do therapy, because it was too soon. So, they literally fucking, um, let me sit there and fucking do word searches staring out a window. Anyways, um, they released me. I was back in the hospital a couple weeks later, but then they took me to Rocky View. Crisis Stabilization Unit. Fucking worst place I've ever been to in my entire life. Um, that's the reason I haven't gone back to a hospital. Uh, for mental health. And, um... That was a horrible place. I need to, I didn't need to do this when I don't have a smoke in my hand. Um, you were in a hospital for a year. They tried to rehabilitate me. Aww. You almost lost your lie. Nothing about it's a lie. Nothing about it. I lived on my dad's living room floor. It was horrendous. Um, then I found a place. I got evicted. Um, I got my daughter back and everything. And then I got evicted. So Al gave me an option to live here. I said no at first. But then I changed my mind. And uh, yeah, I've been living here since. And then I fell 30 feet out of a tree. And then I recently... For all of you who don't know, I had a really bad seizure, a 20-minute seizure. Um, I was almost unalive. They didn't think I was going to make it. Uh, in front of my daughter on Easter. So, and why did I have a seizure? Because some I already know what some people are going to point out. The reason Heather had a seizure... You, you were withdrawing, and that's what caused it. Nope. Uh, fun fact, I hit my head about um, two minutes before I had the seizure. So, 
um, the hospital would have known. Why would I be withdrawing and having a seizure? I've never heard of that one. I live with Al still. I'm not lying. Why would I be withdrawing on Easter with my daughter going to across the street? If I was withdrawing, don't you think I would be in bed? Dumb. Duh. You have in hospital for a year and then, ugh, I hate hospitals so much. Um, but I like them at the same time because they help you. Um, and then inpatient.